Hello and thanks for joining. I'm Jenny from PPM Works and today I just want to review with you the out-of-the-box Power BI Project Online Content Pack. This is a pre-packaged set of reports that Microsoft provides for Project Online users that is designed so that any organization setting up their system pretty much out of the box using the built-in features that are available in Project Online will then automatically have this set of reports. So let's take a look at what these report pages are, and then I'll tell you what we can do to help you customize these reports. So you can see that we've got a portfolio dashboard. I'm here in the Power BI service right now looking at these reports, so they are published. Users can subscribe to them so that they will get alerts when the reports have been updated. It starts out with a portfolio dashboard that will show you an overview of all of the projects, as well as the projects by the phase they are, and by type. So these would be the enterprise project types and the workflow phases. Top level summaries here for the number of risks and issues across the portfolio, the amount of project work and the work variance, as well as the cost variance, total project cost, and your total count of projects. You can see here that this is a scrollable report, but that means that in this situation, exporting this report would not be helpful because you're not going to see anything below this, okay? The scroll is not going to work on an exported version. There's an overall portfolio timeline. Right now this is filtered to just one particular project, but you can see that there are built-in filters here, also called slicers, at the top of the page. Portfolio costs also, with the top projects by cost ranked here in tiles as well as the cost KPIs and cost variance measurements. Portfolio milestones are going to show the upcoming milestones in the next 30 days, as well as milestones that have been completed in the last 30 days. As this is our demo environment, you might not always see data in all of these slides, but you'll also can track portfolio risks and issues. Resource information, such as resource availability with a built-in heat map, this heat map will adjust based on the avail availability you have set and the capacity you have set for each resource listed here. There'll be a resource overview, just so that you can see overall the resources by department and by group and by role-based security if you're using that in your environment. Actual resource assignments, this is organized by the resource name, then by the project, then by the task to which they're assigned. You can filter by a particular resource if you want to see that. There's a built-in filter here for that. You could also very quickly and easily change this so that if you wanted to look at this from a project down perspective, you could look at each project and then see the resources um, that are assigned to that project. If you're looking for details on a specific resource, you can come in here and you can select the resource name so that you can see their information as well as the resource demand forecast. This is probably a less commonly used report. We have lots of clients that simply hide this page, but nonetheless, it's available to you if you want to use it. And then finally, project status for a specific project. So this would be you know, a weekly status report that you might uh, export. So PMs could use this report for their own clients and for their own projects. So that will update based on the project that's selected. And the same goes for project risks and issues. Okay, so right now it's set for all projects, but you could select the risks and issues for a particular report. Okay, what we can then do with this out of the box report is customize it to your environment. So perhaps you're not using the out of the box workflow phases because that's just more than you need, at least when you're first starting out. Perhaps you're not using cost health and work health, you're only using schedule health, and you've created another health field. Okay, you can then customize this report with our help and we can even change it to your particular color scheme. I've changed it to our logo here. We can add your logo in the top corner of the pages. We can create higher level dashboards so that if you wanna just see things based on project manager, for instance, you can look at more visuals here. Sometimes executives like to see more imagery rather than uh, less lists of projects. They'd rather just see overall images, overall pictures. 
So you could take a look at that. Some of these are exactly the same with portfolio timeline. You can see we've changed the color scheme on this a bit, as well as the filters. Also with portfolio milestones, perhaps you have particular milestones that your organization needs to track. We could filter these so that it's not just using the out-of-box milestones, but rather more specific milestones for your organization. Resource dashboard, we have changed this around a little bit so it's more visual. The same with resource assignments, adding a few more reports up here so that you can see in these donut and pie charts, perhaps we could uh, narrow these down a bit more so that it's a little bit more friendly on the eyes. You can look at a specific resource here if we wanted to see work for that person. Let's try Adele. She has assignments. Okay, and then we've got a task overview report. Same kind of thing. These can all be customized and filtered as well as a specific project timeline. If you just want to look at one project, you can do that. A user can look up their own work here in a report form and then finally look up their own work here in their own timeline. So this would be tasks on which that resource is assigned. Okay, That one has exceeded the number of resources assigned on that task, so we'll move back here. What my point is is that we can customize these reports um, starting from the base report and then using that as the starting point, then changing this so it better suits your organization's needs. If you're looking for more information, reach out to us at info at ppmworks.com.